Wait one second, make sure I'm recording, I should be recording now. Hello and welcome back to Random Days Random Games. In today's episode we're playing Rise and World, a early access game that I've just gotten. I got like yesterday or the day before that. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying too. Uh, let's see, so this is an open world crafting, kind of like Minecraft, but not Minecraft. It's in early access on Steam and I wanted to try it out. I've had it on my wish list for around when it was coming out. Uh, early access. Uh, let's see. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. I might as well jump into a new world. Survival. I guess I'm going to give it a good name. Tenko's... Tenko... Yeah, Tenko's... New... Nope. New world. Tenko's new world. Okay, well, we might as well hop in. Looks like that's our enemies. Dungeons, water. It seems very interesting. Wait, is that a bit too long? Or is, it, is that the Tenko new world? Yeah, it was the bit that goes upwards. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Created on 2022 03, 14th of March. Yeah, let's see. Wow, it looks beautiful. Wait, I start with a mining tool? Kinda reminds me of Rustus. Yeah, let's see. Oh. So, where do, where do I start? I have a journal. Bus steps. Welcome to the world, to your uh, to a new world. You will notice that you already have a stone axe in your inventory. First of all, you should use it to collect some wood. Take your axe, go to a tree and cut it down. You need to hold the action key. Now cut the fallen tree into logs and pick them up. Okay, that seems easy enough. Yes, yes. How do I open my crafting table bit? Is it E? No, Q. Oh no, I've just thrown Max! Eh. Uh, is it F? Yeah. Oh, so I was gonna lose my items there. It's I! So it's kinda like old school, eh. Uh, ah, character's ugly. Should have created a better character. Or, you know, I don't think it has character customization yet. Okay, well, let's cut down this tree and start our journey in the world of New World. Now, I may actually do a few episodes on this, if you are interested in this. Uh, let's see. I think this, yeah, that's how it works. Then you click F to pick it up. It looks like you get three logs from this. Yeah, it does really remind me of like uh, Rust and all that, but for this game, it's a beautiful. Wow, that that's a bit too much sun glare, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Where should I live? Oh, it looks like I spawned right next to a desert-looking area. Kind of reminds me of the Sahara Desert. Uh, let's see. Might as well check it out. I don't know if I do multi multiplayer and you know other episodes of this I, I want to do some more episodes if it's interesting uh, let's see it is an early access so you know there is still you know more happening with the game what that is so cool so it is just like minecraft but with a uh, like that smooth mod or What's that other mod called? I can't remember. No, that other game. Is it Survival Craft? I can't remember its name. It's been years since I thought about this game. It's a game that I used to play back in the old iOS days. Drop down this. Uh, I broke it. <laughs> it sounded like Lego breaking there. Okay. Let's break this log up. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of wood. And that's also some palm leaves. That's good for uh, building a house. Can I throw this? 
No, it looks like there's a key on your horse, horse. Wait for this, guys. Wait for this. I have to sneak up on this horse. Maybe I can ride the horse, I don't know. What do I have in my inventory? Only have five slots. Hopefully it doesn't see me. Creeping up to it. Doesn't see me yet. Wait for it. I've got to try and piggyback it. It's a little bit faster than me. Come here. Come here, don't show your butt at me. Take it out! Take it out! Take out the horse! Ah! Uh, I don't think I can ride it. How did that have to feed it some water stuff or something? It's kind of a bit broken when it's going over all these hilly terrain. Oh. I guess I'm going to mine down to this. If I think about it, it's probably the best decision is to mine down to this. Well, let's see. See if we can get any good resources out of this. Probably not the best decision to do, you know, when night is coming now. But if I think about it, if I can get down here, I could probably start living off of some supplies that's left around here. Ore is probably down here too. Okay, let's break down some more of this land. I would recommend this game, it's quite interesting. Uh, let's see. It is an early access, but this early access is like, it's basically complete. This is basically the final game. But it doesn't mean that they won't update in the future and, you know, keep on adding stuff. It is an alpha, I think, now. So it, it means it's an early access, you know, very early of it. So it means that there will probably be more to it in the future. Yeah, this is very interesting here. I see some pixels in the dark over there. Don't know if it's some kind of creature or something. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! You can actually see where I'm mined down. That's actually pretty cool. I like the realism of the game. It has a bit of realism. Probably better to break down that a little bit. Eh? Break that a little bit. Okay, that that's pretty nice there. I need to mark this area, right? How do I mark an area? How do I build? I can craft stuff by clicking I. Uh, rotate using R and B. I can't remember what that is. Control tab. Nope. Crafting. Okay, I can build a shelter, but I need to make uh, I need to make sticks. How do I make sticks? Resources. Sticks. So I turn this into lumber. Let's turn this all into lumber. It looks like it takes a second. Craft the last of it into lumber. Get a few sticks. That should do us. Uh, general, I need 32 sticks. I only have a certain amount. That's 12, so... Uh, just spam the clicking button. Okay, now can I make a bed? I don't know. Or a shelter, whatever you call it. It has in my hotbar, so I might be able to build it now. Okay, let's see. F1 to help. Okay, that is a rotate. You can rotate it. Number 4, number 5, number 6. Uh, you can change the grid side. Plus. You know, that's probably the worst thing because day keys are for me streaming that these two bits here 
Uh, let's see, hopefully I can just, you know, change it or something. Hold to enable free look. Now that's placing the shelter. I probably build it right here, but that means it's too close there. So probably a little bit more over here. Nah, let's break down this land a little bit, right? It may look nice, but this little lump here is actually getting right in the way. So, oh no, I've just broken the area. Can I take down some of this grass or something? I kinda don't like that. I wish grass was like separate or something. I think that's like, you know, eh, I can't really say much about it. Uh, I don't really like how it is there. Also, I was wondering why I couldn't look around before. I can sleep now. That is very useful. I think I might actually grab some sand. Now you're probably wondering, what's sand got to do? Well, if I can place this here, right? That means I can customize this terrain to my advantage. Okay, I'm gonna try and sleep in here. Nah, I don't want to sleep now. Still have plenty of daylight, right? If I mine up more of that sand stuff, I could make this a little bit sandy. And the reason why I want it to be sandy is because sand is also a very useful block. Uh, let's see, so I need some more trees also because I want to make some tools. Break down this tree, breaking down this tree. It's a little bit slower than Minecraft, but you know. At least it's not as long as the uh, rock. You know, that's something I want to play. Oh, it has physics when it's going downhill. It's, it's kind of just moving around now. There we go. Piece of log. Some tree saplings. Oh, that's how I can grow more trees. Flowers. I wish I could just harvest up the grass because I wish the grass was like separate. It is part of the thing, but maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe I can do that. Uh, let's see settings. Uh, no, I can't do that. Sadly. Well, you know, I've quite enjoyed what we've done so far. Uh, that, that's how you grow trees right there. And I do not want to grow some trees right now. I want to actually work on making a tool. Why is it only giving me a stone tool? Wait, did that fix the resolution? Wait, I think it might be full screen for you already. Hopefully it's not broken. I do apologize if it's broken. But it looks like I also need water. Now, I want to go on top of this mountain right now. Let's quickly run up here. I have a lot of stamina and I can run up basically vertical. Oh no. I see some dark stuff over there. It's a pumpkin. Okay, let's check out this pumpkin in a second. That is our food source there. We plant more of these pumpkins, we're good for. Also, I can see the roots of this tree. I don't know if I'm supposed to see the roots of the tree. Might just be a bug, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Actually, if I could just mine into a mountain, could I just live in the mountain? I don't know, they never said anything about that. I can't just live in a mountain. I'm living in a cave kind of thing. Uh, let's see. What's this over here? Some dandelions. Yellow buttercups. Some berries here. Four tamales? Do you have tamales in this game? Hey, you get back here, dear. I'm going to eat you for dinner. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm faster than you. Eh. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill I don't want- Ah! 
Bear, bear, bear. I figured out the bear's weakness. I broke the bear. It's a broken bear. Kill the bear before it attacks me. This is very useful. Aww. I feel bad for the bear. Inventory. Can I just... Wait. Why does the bear have venison? Does a bear normally have... Oh, it's a drag system. Okay. Better not be... Okay. I can hide the body, but... You know what? I'm gonna leave the body here. It represents, you know, what I've done to that bear. I'm sad now. It made a sad sound when it died. Okay, let's get back home before, you know, night falls. Still have plenty of time, I think. It's early in the morning. Just started our world. Eh, hey, water. It's kind of low, but... Ooh. Build like a water thing here. Wait one second. Where is my base? Right over here, right? Yeah, that's my base, right? Now, if I was to sis do a system here of mining this all the way over there, would it work? They did not say anything about this. I might be breaking the game, but I don't know. I take a little bit, but you know, it to get there. I'm building a tunnel. No, I've accidentally uh, broken the physics of the world. I can actually go under the water and not have oxygen, you know, problems. I think they might have to fig figure out that bug there. Don't know, you know, what that bug is, but this is nice soil here. I was hoping that I could make this water go all the way down, but you can actually see how broken this water physics is right here. Like at a certain point I could be directly under this water. I could probably mine under this water. Wait, is this just a stone PNG? Look, this this is like stones that you would see at a beach or something, huh? I think that's just like stone PNGs. This might just be dirt or sand mixed together. But we got a lot of mining to do. Let's go down a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. But we, we do have the journal at. Eh? I'm supposed to be building a proper base and here I am just building a tunnel to some distant land. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's actually grass, so that must be... That must mean that some something's nearby, right? If there's grass, there's home. I think I've just discovered a bugged area, because this is not supposed to be down here. I'm like, way down underground here. Uh, let's see. I don't even know where I am. I wish I could crouch a little bit lower or maybe crawl so I can, you know, get through here a little bit easier. Uh, let's see. Is that a feature? That's what they should add. Crawling mechanics. That would be pretty cool, eh? 
I've not tried out multiplayer. I think I might try that out maybe next episode of the one I did. I'm still also to say, yeah, I'd probably do this as a random days, random game series. Also, this game's like sixteen pounds, no, eight pounds, eight dollars for you know Americans, and sixteen dollars for Americans. Uh, I can't remember how much this game was. Eleven. I think it might be an eleven pound. I don't actually know. Well, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description down below if you want to support the game by getting that. Actually, I got pretty close to my house, so if I just kept going sideways, I should be perfectly fine to get to my house. It's like the Great Escape here, where just building tunnels underground here. I should have a question of the day. Hmm. What's your favourite open world game? And what's your favourite, like, kind of similar game to Minecraft? Probably Junk Jacks. Because that was a great game. I remember it's, it still has, like, oh, this is a copy of Minecraft and, like, the Steam page area. Even though, you know, it's kind of based on the same idea and also Minecraft is a copy of another game because it uses the same stuff as another game. Uh, let's see, can't remember what it is but it's like a space mining game or something. I'm a bit stuck here. Fix this roof by taking this bit out. Okay, that well that works. You know this tunnel system is actually really pretty cool. I've never, you know, seen like a good tunnel thing like this with you know you know how you dig down and all the stuff goes into the hole? It's kinda like that. It's turning night time. Hopefully no enemies come in these tunnels, right? That would be scary. I don't even have a sword to defend myself. I would want to check out uh, multiplayer after this if I have time. Uh, let's see. Now there is enemies. I don't know if they're really a big threat. You know, what's that game called? Mine and Z? This is what that game reminds me of. Well, this game. No, there was also that old... You know what? I'm going to combine a list of uh, old games that I used to play back in the day that are similar to Minecraft, but not Minecraft. There was Junk Jacks. There was uh, that survival craft game that I could never get a hand, hand of and ever every time that I would get close to, you know, try and figure out what's happening, I would end up dying. Uh, okay. What other game was it? I remember playing this other game and it had railways, it had a beautiful sky. It was like Minecraft but better. That, that's a big thing to say, but, you know. It's like a better direction of Minecraft. Like, this is like Minecraft, but realistic, but not really realistic, realistic styled. Uh, let's see. But it had dragons, it had these skeleton enemies were, that were actually pretty cool. Just checking. Let's break this a little bit, sorry about that. Let's just make it go downwards. Yeah, making it go downwards should mean that. I 
don't have the problem with that seal and stuff, right? It's actually a pretty cool mining system, I would say. I want to go up, but I don't. I don't know what to expect. Huh? Like it's uh, you know, that feeling that you know, I could go out, but I don't know what's out there. It's getting pretty dark in here. I might as well read the journal while I'm here. Eh, uh, build a thing. Yes, yes. Third step, craft the shelter. You need sticks. Once the shelter, you can sleep in the shelter. You will. This will skip nights. This will also update your spawn location if you die. You always respawn there. Collect more wood if necessary. And then open up the crafting menu again. Switch to crafting station. Craft a workbench. You can also. Okay, let's try and mine out here. We're mining that exit tunnel. I think I mined a lot more downwards than I needed. Okay, we should be getting there. Who wants to face me, ah? Uh? Okay, quickly. Woo! Sleeping time. Am I sleeping? Oh, it's morning now. Whew. I was gonna say, is that a barrel? I was gonna say, I don't remember a barrel being there. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have an idea. Now listen. I can. I'm building a pyramid thing here. The stick to the sky. Ow. I can build it into a cross if I wanted to. There we go. There we go, we have the cross to tell us where home is. And we need to figure out where that tunnel was. I, like, ran out of there quite fast. I know it's somewhere up here, maybe. That can't be here. Ah, wait, I found it, I think. Is this it? Nope. It's just a dirt area. Okay, where was it? Where's the hole? You know, we left the hole and then can't find the hole again. Uh, let's see. I guess I could just follow the tunnel back down, alright? You know, it's not actually a bad tunnel. Problem is, trying to get that water stuff. I'm quite low on water. But luckily we have a tunnel that leads us to the water, right? As long as we have a area that we can actually go to the water source, should be perfectly fine. I am going to also build a pillar here. That should help us very well. Actually, I could turn it into like a wall around this entrance area. It means I'd be protected from enemies. I don't think, yeah, enemies can't really climb this thing apart from that bit there. Do 
the same over here. Come on. Claim. You know, I don't think this is what they expected, you know, a person like me to, you know, just do on the first day. Let's just build a tunnel area. We could build a tire wall down the mountain, right? There's nothing stopping me from building a wall, right? Apart from resources. And then go to I and grab the next deck. Well, that's a problem. Kind of looks like I just pooped all over the mountain. You know, with that cross up there, it actually looks pretty nice. I'm building a secure perimeter. Did I hear a cow? I hear... I can't kill you yet. But I go for the apple tree. Come on apple tree. I can't grab the apples from the apple tree. I'm di dying from the damage. Okay. Before I die I want to craft the final thing. That is crafting station. Require 16 lumber. Yeah, that should be pretty easy to get 16 lumber before I die. It would be easier enough to build like a tree farm, right? Building it like Minecraft over here. There we go. They will all grow into trees and I uh, chop them down in the future. Ah, <sighs> the start of an empire. Oh, so that area over there actually looks pretty nice on the right. Could use that for some resources. It's an easy game to get a hand of, okay? It's not too bad, I would say, for an early access game. And also it gives you instructions, huh? Some games don't actually do that. You have to, you know, do everything yourself. Try and learn. Oh, there's a horse over there. We had bad reputation with the horses. <gasps> don't tell me I've just unlocked potatoes. I've unlocked potatoes. I've unlocked potatoes. I've unlocked a potato. Let's plant a potato right here. No, 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 no. We're planting the potato. Our oh, character's not that smart, is, is, is there? I can't even. Is there? Uh, let's see. Let's take down this tree and I should have another question of the day. Hmm. What's your favourite animal, huh? Favourite animal, maybe the orangutan? Would be funny to see some monkeys around here. But for favourite sea animal, probably a... Uh, you know what I would love to see in this game? Probably like crabs or something. But that wasn't the original idea. I wanted to say, I want to see some oceans in this game. I don't know if we've seen an ocean yet. Yeah, there is an ocean right over here. I would love to see more oceans, like maybe some slatter land because this land's very bumpy. Nothing wrong with some bumpy land. At least I have a secure area where I can live. I have a cave that I will soon mine down in. Uh, how much would I have? 
Oh, you craft that. I totally forgot about crafting lumber. Okay, now I'll go to crafting station. Craft object. I I probably put it right next to the tree right there. Okay, we're placing down the workbench. That should allow us to craft more stuff, right? Like tools. We can build an axe, but it requires iron ingot. I think we're going to focus on getting a new crafting station, and that's a primitive furnace. It requires 64 stone. So that means I need to craft a pickaxe, right? Wood stone pickaxe or something? Stone X. Primitive to use to break stone. I guess we're going to have to head down in there. But I think I might leave our world, return to main menu. Do I still have that world? Yeah, I can visit that world again. But I want to check out multiplayer. Oh, there's actually a lot of multiplayers. Oregon. <laughs> There's literally one just called Oregon, Cat Island, uh, Rising World Server, I blame. A lot of servers, I've seen like a few people online. I want to join Oregon. Connect. Connect on. Tintin sky is blue. Wow. There's a guy over here. Hello. Is this Oregon? How do I spell Oregon? Oregon. Hello, is this Oregon? I guess this is what we're going to be doing late game and all that. I wonder where this guy is. Beautiful uh, landscape, huh? Are you okay? Hello? Hello? Look, he's invented a tree farm like I did. This is amazing. Nice space. Nice space. Hello. Hello. Is this Oregon? Is this Oregon? Looks a bit different. Looks a bit different. I like the character design. I can trade with the guy. Yep, this is Oregon. Nice. So, who are you? Who are you? And Dingleberry. A YouTuber. And how long have you been? How long have you been playing for? So, who are you? And Dingleberry, a YouTuber. I'm. Sorry. I'm spelled. There. Okay. Hopefully I did not misspell misspelled. I've been away for quite some time. Okay. So 
So who are you? So who are you? So who are you? You have a name? Tell me. Make sure it's you have a name. You have a name. You have a name. This is quite nice base. I guess that's where he sleeps. I wish they would actually make a different bed. Did he write something? Nope. My name is Wara. Well, hello Wara. Hello. Wara. I am Tinkerberry. Tinkerberry. A YouTuber. Small one. Small one. Small one. Well, this is a pretty nice person. You know, I wasn't expecting such a nice build and, you know, stuff in this game. I'd seen pictures, but, you know, I was wondering if they were actually, you know, proper. This is what my house is going to look in the future. This could be awesome. I will probably do a few more episodes of this series. Uh, let's see. If you just want to see more. It's quite a weird game. But you know. It's an interesting game. Don't you see my name? Hey. Wara. Okay. I don't know if Wara's a joke or not. I'm too old for this stuff. Or too young, I don't know. Look at uh, how buff this guy is. There's some good muscles here. Got the John Price and that Beetle guy in the 70s look going on. Yeah, that's a very nice base. Now open the stuff. What does this do? I don't think I can touch any of this stuff. Well, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. Meeting you. I have to go. I have to go. Uh, have a nice, have a nice day. And stay safe. Wara. I have to go. Yeah. Well, I am going to end in his garden. He needs some fertilizer. Eh, uh, no, that's not what I want. Goodbye. 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 I was going to see if he messaged. Oh, I ended the tire thing now. Well, have a nice day, sir. Have to travel, maybe even some more Need to keep up the vitamins. Very, very important. And bye bye. See you next time. Have a nice day. See you. Bye bye. And also, if you just want to see more, you can leave it down in the comment section that you would like to see more. Uh, bye bye. See you next time. See you.